I find with a lot of salespeople, because I've worked with a lot of salespeople and I've done sales myself, is mm. that it all goes back to yourself and how you feel about yourself. And that's going to be projected onto the other person and any defense mechanisms that you have, that's going to, again, stop you from any type of communication, regardless of being expressive or charismatic or any of that, because you're going to actually hit a wall in terms of communication and you feel like you're not connecting with the other person, but that's because to a certain extent, you're blocking yourself subconsciously. Do you resonate with that at all? Yeah. And like when, when I get off the sales call, like, like I feel like not like crying, but it's like, yeah, it's like uh, more feeling for that person who has kind of, I mean, they don't have money, for example. I mean, they really want to want it, but they just don't have the finances to go on. And I mean, for me, it feels kind of sad. And it's just, I don't know, maybe I feel helpless. I think that's the word, helpless. Yeah, helpless kind of thing. Why do you feel helpless? Yeah. Maybe on a personal level, it's also like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm getting a bit emotional, but yeah, I I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the help us like. What would the, what would that what would that be? <laughs> if you were to think about it. Yeah, I think the the first memory that comes to the mind right is I I I remember like when when in nursery I think do I know I was maybe like four five, and then I'll be just like crying away and so strange crying away asking for my mom and then they had to kind of call my mom to come to like rescue me. <laughs> kind of position like yeah, I don't know why I was just crying but yeah yeah I don't know it's strange but yeah because the more you suppress it yeah I remember you using the word suppress it yeah the more that's going to bring up in a unconscious way and you can't control the unconscious so we have to bring it to the conscious in order to control it so yeah. that's that's the whole point we want to control what we say, what we think, how we communicate. And so if you could just bring it to your consciousness, then you can control it. Then it's, then it's on you. I can suggest writing letters to specific people that you remember in your life, those specific moments that you literally just mentioned throughout this whole call, every single person writing a letter to those people is probably going to really help deep dive into what you actually really feel and think. And that's yeah. going to allow that to heal or at least bring awareness to it. So when it is brought up in any type of situation, you're not stopping yourself or the defense mechanism is recognized. So it doesn't stop you from connecting or communicating in any type of way or stuttering because you feel nervous because of that one time this thing happened and you don't want to feel that thing again. And, but it's all subconscious, that process that happens psychologically, something happens pen to paper versus typing, the same thing doesn't happen. Yeah, because, because I've just been typing down whatever you said just now. So I should have been writing okay. it down. Yeah, you need to yeah. actually write it down physically. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it.